welcome to KB Auto Project. If you enjoy watching our videos, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to get subscribed to the channel for new content that's coming your way. And uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be filming my new M Sport steering wheel. This is the old one, the OEM one that came with the car when I bought it. Um, I don't have the airbag for it anymore. I already got rid of that and sold it. So um, we're going to be looking at that today. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about a few pointers here on basically how not to uh, do that to your wheel if you um, ever want to reuse it or sell it. Um, basically it just utilizes using these uh, clips back here. But um, besides that, uh, also I don't know if you guys uh, if you guys follow the channel uh, follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account. Uh, some of you know that I had put in some of the M3 style um, mirror caps, the ones that look like the M3 ones. So I come to find out that looking at um, both sides of the car, that they actually weren't even. So, um, you know, it's kind of just what you get when you buy cheap knockoff parts. But, um, so I put the old ones back on, but when I did, I uh, cracked my driver's side mirror, which is kind of crappy, but, you know, that's what happens. There is a correct way to take the mirrors off. I'm going to show you guys how to do that really quick, too. So, um, why don't we uh, go ahead and get started on that right away. I'll put the old wheel back in the car. Brandon, I hope you have enough room to get in on that side to film. We'll find out. Actually. Okay, so, got my new mirror. It is an identical part. It is heated and has all the right connections. Well, the tools you'll need are basically just uh, two plastic trim tools. Um, maybe a bigger one like this and probably a smaller one like that. That way you can kind of get at the clips. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get back in your car. And this was the mistake I made. <clears throat> this is why I cracked my mirror. So what you want to do is make sure that your mirror is turned all the way up. So it's at full tilt. So when it's at full tilt, you're ready to go. <sighs> Then what you can do is take your bigger trim tool piece here and go ahead and get under your mirror. Now you don't want to apply too much pressure yet. What you want to do is keep a firm hand here until it clicks out like that. And what you can do is kind of work your way around the rest of the mirror, the rest should be able to do by hand like that. Let's see, mine's already cracked, so it's, you it. Uh, it was already pretty weak. Okay, so then we have some connections here. Should be able to just slide these off. But they might... Oh man, Brandon, those might be clamped in. Well... tools than I thought. <laughs> Let's see here. What do we got in this fun, crappy... Sorry about how dirty and messy it is in this garage. I didn't, so far, I've been moved in for a few months now in this new place. And this really isn't a... Uh, this really isn't really a garage either. This is more like a shanty shack. <laughs> I don't know why they designed it like this, but they did. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of things going on, a lot of mess, a lot of cardboard I got to get rid of, so, anyway. I just did an oil change in here too, so I kind of got a lot of things floating around. I do not have a toolbox yet. Oh, let's see, I'm 
looking for. Well, this just shows how. <laughs> shows my skills at keeping things arranged. Okay, good set of pliers. A little pry tool here. So, come back over here, Brandon. Step by me. Oh, man. Tight. Yeah, a little bit. There's a little. Yeah, I'm working with a new camera too, guys. So. That's not closing at all. What want to do? All right, we're good. Are you in? Yep. So there's a little clip here. You just want to make sure you press that in. It's gonna be kind of hard to do like this, but there you go. Push that tab in, go ahead and pull that out. It releases that one. So, yeah, a little pry tool help you with that. No, I'm not sure if these are really going to come off this way. That's the hard part here is... Oh, okay, they do. Yep, so you can just go ahead and get yourself pliers. And kind of wiggle in it. But there we go. And that's how you get your whole mirror off. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down over here. I'm cold today, Brandon. You said it was nice. It was nice. <laughs> uh oh, Brandon. What do I do with the new mirror? Throw it back inside. <laughs> oh no. Well, there it is. Try not to lose your old your new mirror. Yeah, so main thing is, yeah. Now, putting them on is a lot easier than taking them off, though. Now. You have a little more forceful taking it off, I think. Yeah. Not really. This isn't going to make a big difference on which one goes where. But you should be able to go ahead and slide, slide them right back on. That'll be a click. There's a little bit of a click. You can actually see that's fully seated too. So, Let's see, just like that, those go in. Now, of course, maybe there, there could be a, a right and a left, but I doubt it. I mean, that one slides in like that, and you're good to go. Now, when you're putting this back in, remember that your mirror is angled upwards, so that's how we're going to want to put it back on. So, remember to get a firm hand on it until it clicks, which I believe you just heard, and there we go. Now all you got to make sure you is just uh, see if your mirror can move and adjust properly like it's supposed to. There it is going up. There it is going all the way down. A little bit of an angle towards me. towards the outside looks good all right so now that's how you put it on a new side mirror <laughs> Okay, so for this next part, guys, um, I'm going to talk to you about how to take your OEM wheel off. And I want to get into this because um, there are a lot of big YouTubers out there who are showing you how to take this wheel off, and I don't feel like it's the right way. So, like me, I watch some of these other people, and they tell you to get about yay size flat head and to go in through the flaps through here. Oh, my garage door. <laughs> Holy, what the hell is that flashing? <laughs> they tell you to get a flathead and go through the back of your flaps and to push the clips out 
So you can get one section of the airbag out and then get the other section of the airbag out. The problem with that is, is if you've never taken out your airbag, it can be extremely, extremely difficult to do it that way. And um, that's how it was for me. And I ended up just ripping and breaking uh, the wheel apart. Now, I didn't hurt any of the actual internal pieces, luckily, so it all still works, but it just looks like junk now. So what I did, what I ended up doing was I went through a, a forum of sorts. Uh, I want to say it was maybe F30 post or a Beamer post. I can't remember which one. But um, a guy had said to actually, um, with this piece here on the back of your wheel, I don't know, can you actually see that, Brandon? Mm -hmm. This plastic uh, up here at the wheel, yep. is to actually remove this with a plastic trim tool on both up and down. And there is a little clip down here for your key and another one if you have a heated steering wheel like I did. And basically you would just unclip those. And with that, you can turn your wheel all the way to one side and you would see this back here. And there'd be your clip just up here on the notch. So what you could do is actually get behind the wheel with a flat head and um, just push the clip up and you could release your airbag that way on both sides. So just turning your wheel this way and releasing it, turning the wheel the other way and releasing it via these two back clips here. Now mine's already installed so I can't really actually show you it, but that's how I did it and it was a million times easier than trying to go through the back flaps and try and press those clips out. So just a little bit of a heads up, you know, for you guys out there who are trying to do these um, retrofit installs because um, I tell you what, doing it that behind the slit there, that's extremely difficult. And um, I just, if you, if you don't care about, you know, your wheel, then I guess it doesn't really matter to you. But like me, I would have loved to have kept this to reuse it or to sell it and you know and now it's just really not worth anything in this condition so um i do like the new m sport wheel though uh it's working really good um i went ahead and had uh mccord's uh auto service he went and deleted the code for me so I had that all squared away got my uh i got a u.s style uh dual stage airbag in here so that's up to code um, my paddle shifters did um, actually work automatically for my car. My car is already wired for it, so that was really nice. And they're pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, it's a really good condition wheel. Feels really good. I'm loving it. I'm thinking here in the future that I want to get these uh, um, EU style switches switched out for US style switches. And maybe um, do some different trim here, maybe. I don't know yet. But um well, the only, the only really thing I don't like about the wheel so far is that this one is not heated. So my OEM wheel was heated because my car has uh, the cold weather package. So this wheel's not heated, but it actually feels not too bad in the winter time when it gets cold. This material, uh, this Napa leather warms up pretty quick. So that's all I really have for you guys on all this though. So um, if you're doing an install, I hope you... Uh, can refer back to this and maybe that will make your life uh, a lot easier on doing that and enjoy uh, enjoy <laughs> enjoy doing that because it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun when you get it done too so <clears throat> it definitely adds to the whole look of the car but um that's all I got for you guys today on this whole thing so uh, if you like the video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to get subscribed uh, you can follow us on our social media. Uh, we have KB Auto Project on Instagram, and me and Brandon both have our. Um, uh, I mean, <laughs> we have Katie. We have KB Auto Project on Twitter, and me and Brandon both have our own Instagram accounts that you can follow us on. So make sure to do that. Other than that, um, we will see you guys in the next video.